So I honestly gotta say, Lightworks surprised me, and here's why. So on this episode, video, or whatever on reviewing editors, we're taking a look into Lightworks video editor, and why I've been putting it off for a while. Now if you don't care about this part of the video, the review and the pros and cons will start at this time, so go ahead. However, I do want to explain my history with Lightworks, and it's a really short one. When I first started editing videos, I went from one editing software to another until I landed on Lightworks, and at the time, I did not really enjoy my experience with it. It just seemed super clunky and complicated, and it didn't run as smoothly. But that can be pointed out because I wasn't well versed into video editing yet, so at the time it could have explained how complicated it was for me. Not excluding the fact that it must have been a really early version of Lightworks as well. And as for the lag, well, I was working off a laptop, so yeah, I think that's enough said. But going back to Lightworks now, it's nothing like how I remembered it, and it surprised me how clean and easy it is to use. However, it does have some different functions from other editing softwares, so let's get into that. Now, Lightworks is a non-linear editing system for editing. Well, at least that's what it says on their website, which you can go look at, link in the description, and see all the features and capabilities that Lightworks supports. Now, Lightworks does have a free version and a pro version that you can purchase in different ways, but for this review, we're specifically looking at the free version. And no, it doesn't have any watermarks, so that's a bonus. When you first open up Lightworks, you're greeted with a simple hub where all your projects would be, as well as a message that lets you know that you can register for an account and sign in, which you will have to do when your guest account expires, but don't worry, if you register, it's still going to be free and all you have to do is just sign in. But other than that, it's basically all the info you will need. Now let's get into the good stuff. Now Lightworks has a really clean UI or interface that it's easy to understand and not a whole lot is thrown at your face at one time. The more you use it, the easier it is to understand over time. And it also provides you with different windows specifically for editing, audio, visual effects, and even the simple log page where you can import all your clips as well. It's clean, it's aesthetically pleasing to a certain point, but the most important thing is that it's simple and you can use as much of it or as less of it as you need, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it has a clean user interface. Now when using Lightworks, I saw it to be very versatile. It can be as easy or as advanced with certain limitations as you need it to be. I've been testing Lightworks with simple edits and to be honest, it can be a very simple editing software for beginners or you can also implement a little bit more advanced techniques with Lightworks, however with certain limitations which I will explain later on. Having a well-integrated community is really important, and as you can see, the website itself provides tutorials for each stage of editing, not to mention the countless videos and channels that you can find about Lightworks. So I think they will have you covered on that for any other questions that you still may have. Now performance may vary for everyone depending on your system specs, but compared to other video editing softwares out there, the playback on Lightworks is really smooth and responsive which I find it to be really important when editing. Plus it lets me know that they're keeping a well optimized editor for a wide array of systems out there. But let me know what's your experience with it if you have used Lightworks in the past or you're currently using it. This was just my experience which was a positive one but I still want to hear what you have to say. Functions and effects. Now I was going to split these off to two separate cons, but I just might as well combine them since it has the same problem. Now I did mention that adding certain effects and performing a certain function can be a little confusing at first and have certain limits. And I definitely had to use some tutorials to figure out how to add certain transitions and how to properly use the trim tool on Lightworks since it was a bit different, but it didn't take too much time, but I can certainly see how it can be a little confusing at first when working with Lightworks and looking for functions, effects, filters, or whatever you want to add for your video. Now this next one might be a deal breaker for some, it just depends what you're trying to get out of Lightworks, but it has to deal with the quality of the video once you render. Now when you're trying to export or render a video or a sequence in Lightworks, it gives you some options to work with. 
However, since we are using the free version of Lightworks, there are some limitations of what you can actually use. So for example, when we're going to export a video, the only available preset that you can use is the H.264 option, which by the way is standard and it shouldn't be a problem to most of you. The next thing would be the FPS, which you guys have total access to, so you guys can pick whatever frame rate you want to export at. The problem comes with the file size and resolution. Now with the free version, Lightworks only caps you off at 720p, which is unfortunate since the standard is a little bit more higher in terms of quality, such as 1080p and above but if you're just working on simple projects or just want to put a simple video out on youtube the difference should be minimal between 720p and 1080 since youtube is going to compress the video anyway but it is unfortunate to see that lightworks just limits you at 720p and you guys might have to take that into consideration when choosing lightworks all right, the aesthetics. Now, I do want to say that the editor's UI is clean and simple, and I'm okay with that. But what I am not okay with is that logo. I mean, come on. Look, it may sound like a joke, which it is, but I would like to see a little revamp, make it a little bit more modern. I mean, hey, they can use the logo that they use for their website, which I'm totally cool with. But yeah, I think it's time to change it or update it. I mean, you don't have to, but you know. So do I recommend that you check this out? Yeah, I do. It's obvious that they've made some changes and I really like what I'm seeing so far. And I think that Lightworks is an optimal choice for those who want something familiar yet simple enough to get the job done and go beyond once they develop those skills. This has been my comprehensive review of the free Lightworks video editor. Let me know your thoughts on this as well as any questions or suggestions you have for the next review. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.